In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Todoist. So if you don't know what Todoist is, it's basically a powerful task management app. So if you're a student, a professional, or if you just want to be organized, then Todoist is a really good app where you can be organized and increase your productivity. So this video is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how it works. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use it on your laptop but you can follow the same steps and download the app on your phone as well. So the first thing we have to do is download Todoist and create an account. First, just go to your browser and search Todoist download. After that, just click on the first link that says downloads. Then scroll down here, based on your device, just select the option and then click on download. So once it's downloaded and you've installed it, you'll reach this page over here. And here you have two options to log in if you already have an account or else you'll have to sign up. So I'll just click on sign up. It'll take you to the browser and you'll just have to enter your details over here. Again here, you can continue with Google, Facebook or Apple or otherwise, just enter your email ID and password. So I'll continue with Google and then just select my email ID. So now we've logged in and to open Todoist, just click on this option. And now as you can see, the app has opened and on the top right, you can see the account with which you've logged in. So one thing which is really good with Todoist is that every change you make gets synced to your account. So now if I download it on my phone, I'll see the exact same changes on my phone as well. So now that everything is set up, I'll first just give an overview of the dashboard. So on the left, you have different pages. First is inbox, then all the tasks for today. And after that, you can see the upcoming tasks, which is like a calendar. Then after that, you can click on the plus button to add a task. And if you want to go through settings, just click on this icon, your profile picture. And then from here, you can reach settings or also change the theme if you want. So the first thing I'll show you is creating a project and then adding tasks to that project. So a project is basically a large topic within which you can add tasks. So usually, I like keeping fewer number of projects, just like work, then studying, and a few more. But again, this is personal and up to you. So to add a project, you need to click on the plus button that's written next to projects. Then here, you can add the name. So I can call this work. After that, I can select a color. So all the tasks related to this project will be given this color. Then the workspace. For now, just keep personal because you can have teams and collaborate, but for now, we'll just leave it personal. And after that, you can decide a view. So there are two ways of seeing this. One is like a list, and the other is a board. And you can see the difference. I personally prefer the board, so I'll select that, and then I'll just click on Add. So now, as you can see, this project is created, and within this project, I can create new sections and add tasks under each section. So now, I'll add the first section. Let's say I call it Meetings. Then I can click on Add Section. The same way, I can add more sections by just selecting Add Section that's written over here. I'll quickly add a couple of more. So following the same method, I've added three sections. And now, under each section, you can add a task. So before I show you how to add a task, I'll quickly show you some options that are related to projects and sections. So for each section, if you click on the three dots, then you can edit the section, move it, archive it, you have many options over here. After that, if you want to share the project with others, you can do that as well. Just click on share, that's written on the top right here. And then, you can enter their email IDs and then invite them. After that, 
you can change the view. So earlier, how we selected board view, we can change that to a list view. So just click on view. And now as you can see, we have different options of the layout and how we want to sort it. So this is pretty much how projects work. And now let's move on to the next thing and that's adding tasks. So there are two ways to add a task. First, you can add it in a project or in a section. And the second way is if you just want to add it to your inbox. So if it doesn't come under any project, you can just add it to your inbox by clicking on this plus button over here. So I'll show you both of them. First, I'll show you how to add one in a project. So currently, I'm in the project of work. And let's say under meetings, I want to add a task. I'll just click on the plus button over here. And now I can add details about the task. So first the name. So here I've called it meeting with team and something that's really cool is by just adding the date or the day, it'll automatically add it to your calendar. So what I mean is if I say meeting with team in three days, as you can see, it's gotten highlighted and the due date has changed to Sunday. So the same way you can type different things. So I can change this to meeting with team on 10th September. And again, that's changed. Or if I want to say meeting with team on every weekday, as you can see, it's showing today and you'll see this task in your calendar every day. After this, if you want to manually enter a date, you can just click on this option, set due date. And here you've all different options. There's a calendar and they have some default options on top. So you can select one of them from here. After that, they have a concept of priority. So you can prioritize all of your tasks. If you click on this flag, as you can see, they have options like P1, P2, P3, P4. So if this is top priority, I can just select priority one. And now when I save this task, it'll be given this red flag. Then there's another way to add a priority and that's in the task name. So the way we wrote every weekday, I can just add P1 over here. And as you can see, the priority has changed to P1. So now every time you're typing in a task, you can add the date and the priority in the heading. And now once it's done, just click on save. And here, as you can see, the task has come under meetings. So the same way you can add tasks for other sections. Now I'll quickly show you how to add tasks in general. It's extremely similar. Just click on the plus button on top. Then the same way, you can add a name, the due date and priority. So here I've said, go to the gym today evening and added P2. So now for the due date, it's put 7 p.m. and the priority has become P2. But now we need to decide where we want to save it. So to do this, just click on this option that's here. And now I can see all the different places where I want to save it. So as of now, I only have one project and I don't want to save it here. So I can put it in the inbox and then click on add task. So now if I go to my inbox, as you can see, the task has come here. So the inbox is the place where you just add tasks, which are in your mind and later you can shift them to projects. So it's very simple to move a task from the inbox to a project. Just click on the three dots over here. And after that, click on move to project that's written over here. Then you can decide where you want to move it. So let's say in the project work, I want to move it to others. I can select that. And as you can see, it's disappeared from my inbox. But if I go to work under others, go to the gym has come. So this is basically how to add tasks. And now I'll quickly show you some settings related to tasks. So if you click on a task, first you can add subtasks. So if I want to add buy banana before gym, then I can type it here and click on add task. And as you can see, this has become a subtask. After that, if you click on the three dots next to the task, you have many options. First, you can edit it. Then you can change the due date. So they have some default options like tomorrow, 
or over the weekend. After that, you can duplicate it or copy the link. You have all these options over here. So now that we've added tasks, let's see how these look in other pages. So if I go to today, over here, I can see all of the tasks just for today. And let's say I'm done with one. So if I had a meeting with the team, I can just check it. And as you can see, it's completed. Then if I go to upcoming, this is, this is my calendar. And here I can see my tasks for the next week, month, you can change the view. So over here for tomorrow, it's again showing meeting with team. This is because we set this to every weekday. So here you can see the tasks for each week and you can change the week by clicking on next. That's on the top right over here. So this is basically how Todoist works. And if you want to know how to link your tasks in Todoist to Google Calendar, there's a method to do that as well. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So that's it for today. Goodbye.